to my slides up and ready. That really is not any better with the light right behind my head, is it? That's okay. We'll make it work. Okay. I have your slides. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. And um, so I am going to welcome everybody to the call this evening. Thank you for tuning in. Um, we are very privileged to have Ms. Lee Jervis on the call, our Silver Upline leader, uh, who's going to talk a little bit about the comp plan and some of the benefits that she found from convention. Remember, we're doing our convention recap. So I know this is a, a question that a lot of people have been asking about. Um, so think of your questions or if you already have them written down. Um, I'll allow Leah to talk on the comp plan for about 15, 20 minutes, and then we'll open it up for discussion um, to try to get some of those answers or questions answered. So um, Leah, where would you like me to start? I'm going to share my screen. Uh, you can start at the beginning, and I'll try to, I figure if I use those slides, I'll stick to a script a little bit better. But there was more than one talk on the Young Living Convention about comp plan, and I didn't go this year to that, um, but I've been to them in the past about the Young Living Convention, and so, um, not convention, duh, about at the Young Living Convention about the comp plan. So this is kind of like a mashup of the talks they had, the talks I've been to, and some of the great ways I've heard it explained. And I'll just pass that along to you guys. Um, I hear I hear all the time people tell me, oh, I just don't get it. It's so hard. That's okay. I don't think that you need to be able to explain how, like what a Royal Crown Diamond needs in OGV and generation bonuses and all these crazy things. I don't think you need to know that to still succeed in this business. I think that as you reach the next rank, then you're going to learn the rank that you're aiming for after that. If you're at um, star, you're looking at, well, how do I get to senior star? If you're at senior star, you're trying to figure out how do I get to executive? So that's what you've got to do is pick your next, pick the rank that you're aiming for and learn it so that you really understand that. And I would also suggest because I think it's great to at least learn the silver rank because that's the first leadership rank. But if it's beyond your comprehension or there's some parts of it you can't explain, it's okay. You'll get it once you get there, I promise. And even if you don't get it then, they still send the check. There's no quiz like you have to understand the comp plan first. <laughs> so don't worry. But this, thanks Anthony, this is the income disclosure statement. Definitely the best way to get started uh, with Young Living. In, in understanding the comp plan because what that income disclosure statement does is it gives you there's like this something up on my screen hold on there okay it gives you that breakdown of the possibilities and really the possibilities have so much to do with casting your vision over what you're able to achieve if you don't yeah thank you perfect you're like reading my mind so this this gives you the income potential um, slide here, gives you the average monthly income at each different rank. So I gotta move our heads out of the way. Um, so if you're just the average distributor, you may or may not, on a given month, if you placed an order of at least 50 PV, um, you may earn some commission. And so that's what the dollar, the average distributor gets about a dollar. Um, I would always encourage you, if you're on this call, you guys are aiming to probably be leaders. If you're a curious person coming on because you want to know, is it really possible to make an extra $500 a month? Um, and you're just coming on, then you can look at this and see, yeah, I can see how this is feasible. See a star makes an average of $80 a month. That covers your ER order. That's not too shabby. Like the average ER order, um, or you only need a 50 PVER order. Uh, I know most of us are putting in more because hello, we love these oils. Um, the senior star is getting an average of $255 a month. That's most people's car payment. That's nice. So, and is that achievable? I, we have senior stars on this call. I know it's achievable. I know that you guys have seen these checks. So you can ask any one of these people and they'll be able to tell you that, yeah, that's achievable. We also have executives on this call. The average check for an executive is over $500. Does $500 make a difference for your family? What would you do with an extra $500 a month? Perhaps you're just gonna use it to grow your own business. Give yourself 
time freedom, which I think for most of us, it's really about the time more than just about dollars. Time to do the things we like, pursue hobbies that we love, spend time with our families. Those are the things that really seem to matter to us. Um, when you hit the executive level, that's when you're going to hit that, a, an average of $500 a month. Silver, you're going to be now in the $2,000 range. So here it shows you a median and an average. Some people have taken a statistics class and remember the difference. I'm going to give you a really quick way to remember. The average is they take all the numbers together and then divide it by that number, the total numbers. So that's how you get an average. The median is the most common recurring figure. So I, you're going to get somewhere between there, the median and the average. And those are, I mean, just out there for you, for the greenies out there that need to see those numbers. It's there. They want to be completely open and transparent for you. Um, you can go back to the other slide because I'd love to explain um, silver, the executive, the silver that um, the income potential for silver is on there yes that one so it shows you that average income is twenty two hundred dollars a month that's where the, like you can see there's a big jump from executive and silver and so that's why i encourage you to try to learn the difference usually by the time the month before you hit silver to when you hit silver your income is going to double one month over the next so that's really um that's where it's like it gets real and the income also is much more consistent after that um, gold, platinum, diamond, crown diamond, royal crown diamond, all you're doing now is taking that same idea as silver and building out new legs and new teams. And frankly, you're helping all these other people reach those same goals. You're helping them get that five. I mean, you have all the families that we could be helping and the difference it's going to make in their lives to make an extra $500 a month. It really does make a difference. People who pay off debt, they could pay for their kids' tuitions. They, they could just sleep easier at night because they don't have to worry about how every little thing's getting paid. And you could see Shannon Hudson, this is, I have to share the story she always does. If somebody hands you a check for $50,000 or $50, this month, what would you do with it? What would you pay off? What would you buy? Who would you help? And with Young Living, the income is consistent when you hit these ranks. So you've bought your, um, paid off your house. Maybe you bought your mother a house. You have paid for your kids' schooling. You've, I don't know, taken a great vacation. And guess what? Next month, you're going to get another one of those checks. What are you going to do? Who are you going to help month after month? That's what it's really about, isn't it? Okay. Enough of that. That's my soapbox there, Anthony. I love talking about that. You can pick another slide for us to talk about. Let's see, he's bringing up the investment. So all of you guys have gotten started the same way with Young Living. And what other business do you have this opportunity where you can spend 160 to, we'll round it up, we'll say $200 a month. You spent $200 a month and you have the income potential as a star to consistently make over fifty dollars a month. I mean, you've if you never reach past star, you'll make back your commitment right away within a few months. But many of you guys have gone beyond that. So you basically have a business that you begin with little money down, little monthly investment, and it's not hardly an investment when it's products that you're using and you like. You don't have to have an inventory stash. All you got to do is put stress away on the lady in the grocery store line right? Or share thieves with the moms that, you know, the kids are in preschool class together with you. Um, purification, you know, passing it around to the other moms that are, I don't know, in the kids' sports classes with you because all their uniforms are stinky. RC, sharing it with your neighbor when they're, they have a little, um, they want to breathe easy. Sharing your oils, and that's how you do it. How easy is that? It shows here that if you enroll four new members with a premium starter kit in your first month, not only is yours paid for, but you earn a little extra money on top of that. And that's really our goal. Any of us that are leaders, when we help somebody sign up with this investment, we need to teach them that. Hey, honey, can you get me the charger? Because Miss Scandal. 
we need to teach them that, how they can get their kit paid back right away. A lot of them need that extra money. So we wanna show them how to do that. If you go to the next one, please. It also talks right there at the end as he's moving over to the next slide that 50 to 100 PV is needed to maintain the ranks um, or to get your, um, your paycheck, your commission. I always encourage you if, if you can, as long as it's within your means, place a 100 PV order. You need the products anyways. Why should you be buying dish soap from the grocery store that's full of chemicals and you know killing the fish out as it runs off? And um, instead, you should be buying from your own store, right? So you're going to spend the money anyways, and that gives you the full commissions that you need, and it gives you um, your rank as well, which will pay you down on the unit level commissions that we'll talk about. Understanding terms and definitions. This is always where a lot of people's eyes glaze over. They, they look at this and they're like, oh, too much to remember. But I promise you, most of this stuff becomes second nature after a while because we use these terms so often. Distributor member, you guys understand what this is. The um, Young Living member or distributor, and, and the reason we call them this is you don't even have to put your social security number in. So they're not always even distributors, right? They're members. They can enjoy 24% off of the retail prices and participate in the compensation plan if they choose. The customer chose a retail account. That's the only difference. So sometimes we'll use distributor, or sometimes you will use member, so you'll hear us use those terms interchangeably but customer is always the one that shows up at the retail account. Here's one that usually trips people up. Enroller, sponsor, why are there two people that I'm putting in here? And some of you may never um, need to worry about enroller versus sponsor. I'm hoping this is actually something that all of you will wanna understand though, because as you build out teams and help other people grow their teams, this is where that stuff becomes important. The enroller is the person who's responsible for the new member being, that has signed up. They're gonna help, um, help them learn more about the business, and so therefore, Young Living pays them extra for that. They're eligible for the fast start bonus, the start living bonus, and what that is is the $25 when you enroll somebody with a starter kit and 25% for the first three months. So sometimes you'll hear us say it's about $50. That's where that comes from, because it's 100 PV and $25 is 25% of 100. So that is the fast start and the start living bonuses. So if you've enrolled somebody, you're entitled to that. But what's the difference with the sponsor? Aren't I also their sponsor? Sometimes you are. Sometimes you'll put your number in both of those spots, the enroller and the sponsor. But what happens if Anthony, one of our newest Young Living members, is growing to be silver? <laughs> It's kind of an oxymoron to call you that because you've already helped your, your wife grow to executive. But now he's trying on his own to grow to silver and he's really working on, he's, he's developing specifically three legs of his team, right? Because he wants to hit silver ASAP. So as he enrolls people, he's gonna pick the three leaders he's working with and place them under that leg. So those people are at the top of that leg could be the sponsor or somebody in those legs could be the sponsor. So it just depends what team you're working on building is where you're going to put that person. Um, it, they, on here, there is a change. You have to make that sponsor and enroll that sponsor change within 30 days, not 20 days. So when you first enroll them, they could be under you as a sponsor until you see maybe They've come to a team meeting and they really clicked. Anthony's like, oh man, that person really clicked with her. I'm gonna have to put her on her team. Or you might, for me, it's always been, I like to build where the motivation is at. Tashina's team grew really fast. She was excited to um, hold classes, not even was, is excited to grow classes regularly. I wanted to help her to get to silver. She was dead on about it. Karen is in that same position right now. She's like, gangbusters trying to get there. You know, anything I could do for people that are, you know, close to me, level one, level two, where I can put people under them like that and make a difference on their team, I love to do that. I know Tashina probably does the same thing with people on her team as well as a silver. It's a great feeling to be able to help people build like that. What's my next term on there? I can't see it. I don't know if it blinked out for other people too. It, it just went black for me. I'm not 
not sure what the next one says. It could be PV. I'm going to assume it's something like that. PV versus um, purchased a product listed on there. And if they're aiming for silver, if you're aiming for um, Royal Crown Diamond, you build seven because you only need six to reach Royal Crown Diamond, but you want a thousand outside of that as well. So the Rising Star bonus and other things will be based on that as well. Let's see. Oh, and legs, which we've really touched on too. Those are the teams that you're building. Yeah. Those are the teams that you're building. Let's okay. see. I am back, Leah. I'm sorry. You want I was glitching on you, so. All right, where are we at now? That's okay, now legs. One more thing to consider on legs. The legs starts not with who's ever at the top. You, you know, if I could show you right now what my team looks like, you'd see that I have people at the top that place an order occasionally. Some of them stopped placing orders, are about to go in active, but right underneath them is somebody that orders regularly, and then right under them is Tashina. Makes you wonder, why did they stop ordering? But sometimes they do. It's just the way things go, and that's okay. The top of your leg, though, is that person that places 100 PV regularly. And then that helps you know where to build when you're building out your teams and you know, trying to pick who's gonna sponsor what. Show me another slide, Anthony. What do we got coming next? All righty. Uh, Did anybody have a question on terms? Come on, my questioners, ask me some questions. All my questioners are like, we're green enough to have already like learned all this. We have got no questions. I have a question. I love questions. Tell me your question, Jenny. Well, I'm just curious how that works. Like, like you said, there's somebody under you, and then they stop ordering. But the, and then Tashina's under them. Like, why would they? Why would they stop ordering? Because if they're doing an order every month, wouldn't they get a check every month? They absolutely did get a check every month. I don't. I can't work and into they the could. psychology of crazy people's that's minds. <laughs> okay, that's just strange. A lot of stuff people do is really I don't right. understand. But, now, here's something too. If that person was only um, let's see, they would have had to have been at least senior star. If they were only reaching senior star, they were also only getting paid unilevel commission, which we'll talk about a little bit, four tiers down. So they didn't benefit from all the people she was enrolling either. They certainly made enough to cover their 100 yeah. TV order every yeah. month. So you get free products exactly. every single month, and they were doing that. There's still somebody else between Tashina and I, and they're smart enough to never know. Oh, there's a delay. Jenny, could you put yourself back on mute? Because now I'm getting a delay when I talk. Yes, yes. Okay. Sorry to be rude. All right, so have we talked about, let's see, we've talked about Start Living, Fast Start Bonus, have we touched on that? I did touch on the Fast Start Bonus. Most of you guys have already enrolled somebody, so you know what the Fast Start Bonus is. That's the $25 you get every time you enroll somebody with a premium starter kit. Okay. Every time. That's so it. Can we really briefly talk about Rising Star Bonus? Oh, wait, I'm sorry. That was the Start Living Bonus. Fast Start Bonus, I want to say something, though. You get no matter what kit they order. The first three months, and if they placed their order like at 11.59 on the last day of the month, that was considered their first month. So I get that question a lot. Um, if they order the last day of July, July was month one, August is month two, September is month three. I just wanted to cover that because sometimes that gets confusing. It's not based on the day, it's based on the month. Rising Star Bonus is my favorite thing in the whole wide world. If you have um, if you're any of the ranks below silver, this is how they help you make more money. And it's as simple as, it's, it's funny because they're actually paying you to structure your team smarter. So there's a few people on this team that are doing a great job with that, that they're setting themselves up with 
seven legs out. And really you start by building three, adding two more, and then adding two more after that. And you can make up to an extra $300 a month with the Rising Star bonus. I think that's a big deal. And it's only through executive. So take advantage of it when you can. You get um, one of the, I think there's a slide at the end about the Rising Star bonus. So I'll go deeper on that if somebody wants me to go deeper on that. How about that, Anthony? Because okay. it, it, I mean, it takes two minutes to explain, but the, um, the unilevel commissions, sometimes this is a little confusing to people. You'll always, from star to Royal Crown Diamond, you'll always earn unilevel commissions. And that's the percentage you earn on the first five levels of people with you. Levels, think of, are the people that go across like this, whereas legs go down. Levels across, legs down if that gives you an idea. That one uh, sometimes trips people up too, but that's basically what it is. And the percentages aren't, I, I hate to say they're not that important because it's, it doesn't have a huge impact on your income, the differences through the first five levels. But where it's important to consider that is as you're um, structuring your, your business, because really it is your business, even if you're helping build out other legs and helping other people, it's still your business. As you're structuring your business, I would always try to keep them where you're going to get paid out on them on unilevel know, level commissions and um, the generation bonuses, which come later. What's my next slide, Anthony? All right. Did anybody have a question about unilevel level commissions? Because there's a lot of potential questions I'm thinking of, but I don't want to go way off track and take up all your time tonight unless there's a question on that. Jenny? Melissa, Andrea, okay. We did this slide, talked about that one. I've got- The terms and the definitions. Well, so actually, we've talked about fast start. The next one is actually the rising star slide. So I am pulling that up. Okay, awesome. And so, really what this income um, class did, this is from Oil Revolution Designs because I didn't actually think to download them. I if there was even any, and Anthony didn't have any either from when they did them at convention. But this really gives you the idea of how to get through the most important ranks, which are the beginning ones. Because once you get that down, the rest is really a lot easier to understand, I think. Um, rising star bonus, excellent. So we did talk about the other bonuses. The rising star bonus, this is something that I would love each of you to work at. If you're this is something different, that you want to work on three legs that are at 300 OGV each, because that's going to be what's going to build you to the next level towards senior star. And you're going to do it. You're going to, it's not going to, um, initially you're going to be like, well, shouldn't I just build two legs? But remember when you're building to silver, you need really three because you're going to need the PGV. So think about it that way. You're setting yourself up at star for silver. That's awesome. You guys don't even, like, I know it's mind blowing. At Star, it's hard to see yourself as silver, but you're gonna get there. You're gonna, as you structure yourself, right? And you keep doing what you're doing and building and talking to people and getting your oils on folks. So at, when you get that one share for your first three legs, that's an extra about 50 bucks a month. The, sec, the next two shares, to earn those, you actually need to build two more legs, but they could be, and it doesn't matter which leg started at 300. When at the month ends, you need three legs that were at the 300, and you need two more at 500 OGB. And you're going to be surprised. There'll be somebody that sits around at 300 for a while, and you might just have enrolled somebody, and they're going to hit 500 right away because they hit star, um, star that month. And really, isn't that what we want is to grow our team to stars? We want to help them realize the benefits of it beyond just the awesome oils. And then to get, so that would get you, let's see, about $150 a month when you get those three shares. The next three shares you'll earn by having two more legs added on, and two of those legs are going to be at 1,000 OGB. So you'll have two at 500, two at 1,000, and three, three at uh, 300. Does that make sense to everybody? Pop quiz, how much money extra is Young Living gonna pay you if you have all six shares of Rising Star Bonus? Jenny, you went 300. Unmuted. You're awesome. 300. Yes, you got it. 
they're going to pay you an extra $300 a month. And by that time, you're going to be an executive and probably almost about to hit silver. So you, if you just, there's, you're not going to have the structure exactly like this. You're going to have two legs that are probably well over a thousand a piece, two that are over 500 a piece and three at 300. So you guys are going to be well on your way to getting that last franc. So I do I want to add this caveat here, um, just because this was a new uh, tidbit for me from convention. Once you guys hit executive, the clock is ticking because after two years of being executive, you no longer get the rising star bonus. That's true. So, 24 months, exactly. Yeah. So 24 months from when you hit executive, uh, if you are not silver, which at silver, you don't get the rising star bonus anymore anyway, but two years um, after has two years have passed, you're no longer qualified for that. So that's great motivation to move to the next rank because you want to be able to get that money without losing out on that money, right? Exactly. Yeah, that's huge. Exactly. Uh, Melissa, Melissa had a, her hand up and then Carrie also had a question. Okay. I had a quick question just about, um, you said with the one share, um, it was $50 a month. With the two share, it was 150 a month. And then with the three share, would that be 200 a month? Or 100? No, with two shares, you're going to get the two shares plus the one. Oh, right. Right. And so when yeah. you get the three shares, you're going to get those, that three plus the other three you know, are qualified for. Right. And okay. each one of the shares is worth $50 approximately. That's okay. every time I earned it, that's where it's been about. And I think if you use like oily tools, they calculate it at $50. Okay, perfect. And my, so, so, go ahead. Just, my only other question was, um, at the bottom of the slide, it says earn up to six shares per calendar month. So yes. do you have to have, you have to build six shares within the calendar month in order to be part of the Rise and Start bonus? Yeah, so you what, it might be hard to see it right now, but when you have the three shares, they're not just going to disappear. Those people are still working with you. So probably two of those people are the ones that are going to build to 500 as you grow more on your team. Does that make sense? Yeah. So when it says six in the month, it's, it's at the end of the month where the rising star bonus gets calculated. So then it resets on the first of the month and you'll be working towards it again at the end of the next month. And hopefully if you got one share the first month, the second month you could get the three shares. Okay. So it's not that you have to have six shares within the month. No, you don't have to have it every month, but that's okay. the maximum number. Good right. question. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Conceivably, you could have more in your front line and you could have a structure where you, if it was available, you could get more. So it's telling you the maximum you could get is six. So if you had like 10 people that all had 300 and then you had five other people that had 500 and you have five that had a thousand yet you weren't yet silver for whatever reason because none have hit four thousand you can only get up to six you wouldn't get like eight eight because you now have four people at a thousand good yes exactly thanks to sheena yeah and and part of it is they want they want to limit you because you only need seven so if you have more than seven people on your front line that are placing a hundred um, PV orders every month, then, then you have too many. A lot of folks will keep building it out and really try to keep no more than seven people on their front line at all at any given time. But not everybody you enroll is gonna place a hundred PV order every month. They should, they should all be in ER. We all need it, but. Go ahead, Carrie, you had a question. Yeah, I'm not sure if I have enough connection here, if you guys can hear me. We can hear you. I can hear you. Hi, Carrie. Hello. So I'm in the dark here, literally. So Anthony brought up limited time from executive. Is that hold true from hitting star, senior star, any of that? Like you should be in it a certain amount of time, but not past a certain amount of time? Because I've got a lot of slow moving traffic here on myself and under me that's that makes really, sense yeah it's a good question so and there was probably a slide in there for elite express uh anthony go for it because i know you had other s stories from you went to this you went to this uh at convention so i would like to hear the stories you were going to share too 
So here was my understanding, um, because this really stuck out to me because my wife and I have been executive for a couple years now, and so we're really pushing for silver. But this was new information for me. So from the point that you hit executive, that's when that timetable starts, because they really want you to be pushing to move towards silver uh, as soon as possible. And typically for the person who has hit executive, that means that they're showing signs that they, they really want to move into that first leadership rank. So that's kind of, it was designed kind of to be the motivator for you not to be complacent and sit at executive too long because they want you to get to silver because that's when, as Leah mentioned, it's the first leadership rank. That's kind of when the big money for most people and, and not saying that $500 a month is not life changing, but um, it's not $2,000 a month or moving on to gold. It's not six. Right. So it's like saying, by the time you're executive, you're obviously doing this as a business, so let's get moving. Exactly, exactly. Pretty so, much. Okay. so you have that two-year time frame from the point you hit executive um, before that rising star bonus goes away, but hopefully you guys will all be silver by that. Right, and we didn't touch on Elite Express, but there are limitations on Elite Express as well to hit those bonuses. Uh, was there a slide on that one, Anthony? I'm looking to see if I can pull pull one up. I think there might be. This one's talking about Unilevel. Because I could say it, but a picture tells you a thousand words or however the expression goes. So that'll give you some background. So this one. I, I didn't, I didn't, well, there was no lead express when I was going for, um, going through the different ranks. That came later and it's awesome because there's really, there's bonuses for each rank as you go through it. When I did it, there was just silver and six which um, in that time period, you got a bonus for um, going from executive to silver in six months. And, um, and so they've changed it. So really you get a bonus if you go from star to executive and you get a bonus, I think from executive to silver and silver, I'm not sure if it's gold, platinum. Uh, it might stop at platinum, right? Star through platinum, I think it's, it goes up. And I, I think after that, they figure the money is bonus enough. For diamond. Um, okay, so I'm going to see here. Let me see if I can pull it up. It doesn't give you the, for this one, it doesn't give you all of the information, mm -hmm. um, but it does give you the gist of what at least Elite Express is. Yeah, and, and to Sheena's right, it's changed um, recently. So, oh, the, and that's basically what I said, that um, to reach executive um, within the first three calendar months from when you hit star and then in the ranks pretty much go up you know, through the ranks, you'll get gifts. Tashina, you really, I think, know more about the Elite Express than I do. I, would you care, no? Was that a no? Or was that a something else? Would you care to touch on that? No, I was just, it's not star anymore, it's senior star. Oh, okay, tell Which me more. really, really good because, you know, people hit star accidentally all the time. True. So, <laughs> um, or sometimes we help family members hit star. And so it's just, that's just the only thing that I wanted to crack. So from the time that you hit senior star, you then have three months to hit executive. So, okay. um, and, and you should have a pretty stable business by the time you hit senior star. If you're trying to get the rising star bonus, you should have two to three leaders that you're working with. So um, to Carrie's question, if you're at a star and you're moving slow, you're, there's nothing for you to miss out on anymore. But once you hit senior star, you really do want to try to help those underneath you get to that next executive. If you miss the executive, then you the clock starts again once you hit executive and you have six months to hit silver. It's still silver and six. Then after that, there's gold and platinum. So, and each of those have a different one. I can't recall exactly. I'd have to look for the slide, but um it's like gold in six and maybe platinum in four but once we get all get there we'll be running for it together so so um i mean and like tashina mentioned that that has changed quite a bit i know everyone's going to have a ton of questions on this but i do want to make sure that we get through all of the information um so if we can move on and talk about uh the unilevel commissions and how People get paid. So I'm going to pull this one up, uh, Leah, if you'd like to talk about that, and then we can answer some questions on that as well. So give me one. Okay. Minute.
So sometimes this confuses folks because there are so many different ways to get paid with Young Living. Unilevel commissions is one of those. Um, generation commissions is another one, and that's why once you hit silver, they, uh, um, it starts going up. So you get bonuses at that generation bonuses, and you get generation. Um, what's the other word for it? Oh, I forget now. Anyways, that's kind of when you get to silver and beyond because you get paid a, a bonus on yourself for hitting the, the leadership rank and you get bonuses on everybody else on your team that hits that leadership rank with you and you get paid an extra percentage on the whole team when you hit it. And that's why the commissions go up so, so much higher. So the unit level is really just one aspect of it. Um, your fast start and starter kit bonus is another retail commissions. I mean, there's so many different ways to earn on your team that um, as you get bigger and bigger, like, I'd say star through executive, unilevel commissions is a big part of your check. But as your team grows more and more, it's gonna become a smaller and smaller part and your, your generation bonuses and your leadership bonuses will take over there. Did anybody have a question on this little diagram? I'm not, I'm not sure how it translates to the rest of you, but if you remember levels, um, go across and legs go down. So um, anybody that's somebody you've personally enrolled or has been placed directly underneath you with you as the sponsor, um, that's then it's the 8%. Level two is anybody that is under those people. So if you're, um, if you're just getting started and you helped a friend have a party, thanks to Sheena for clarifying that. So executive in two, silver in four, gold in eight, platinum in eight. Very good, diamond in eight. Oh, so they added diamond as a level two. Um, so that, that gives you a little idea on that. But um, one of the things I wanted to point out since it came up, why would he stop, have, why would he stop placing his order? I, I think, in, I mean, he would have had to have been at least senior star. He, he was executive at, at other points too before he stopped ordering. So they don't, you know, they don't earn the whole way down. So while Tashina's team, for example, was exploding in growth, they didn't see all the benefits from it. Of course, when he had executive, all he, I hate to say he, when he had executive, all he had to do was build that, not all, but he had to build the second leg, which he was, you know, a good way there if he had hit executive and he would have um, kept growing at his team and, and building to that as well until he would eventually have earned on everybody. Once you hit silver, you earn on everybody on your team. So really quickly, I wanna add something and then Monica's got a question, she's got her hand up. Um, but the reason why looking at something, like this is one of the takeaways that I got was, the reason why looking at something like the unilevel commissions and how you get paid, remember we were talking about the enroller and the sponsor? Keep in mind that as the sponsor, you're gonna, as the enroller and the sponsor, you're only gonna get paid down, even at executive, five levels deep. So sometimes they said, think about where you're strategically placing someone or where someone winds up in your leg. Remember how we talked about the difference between a well-paid uh, star, senior star, like average, medium, and, and high? Um, where a person lands in your team can very well dictate how much of a percentage of what they purchase you're getting. So keep in mind that on your first level, you're getting 8% of whatever that person purchases. So right. the further down they get, it's a less and less percentage. So just think about that when it comes to strategic placing, um, because you do want to optimize and make sure that you're getting as much of that percentage as you possibly can. Right, and if, if you've ever had a chance to sit in on a, one of Lindsay's napkin map, um, talks. I don't know if she did one on the convention this year, but she's done them in the past and they're really very good. You could probably find it on YouTube. It's Lindsay Moreno's Mac and Math. And basically, uh, like I said, as, you, as your team grows and all of you guys have the potential to hit Royal Crown Diamond, the unilevel commission is going to mean less and less. And what's going to mean the most is your generational commissions. And those you can earn up to seven people down. So her, her thought is don't worry about unilevel commission too much as much as seven, um, generation commission. She says never put somebody more than seven people down because you want to make sure that you're always going to be able to earn on the people you've personally enrolled. There you go. Okay, Monica, you had a question or did we already answer it? 
Yeah, it was already answered. Oh, nice. Okay. What was the question just the same? So I, I could keep it as a reservoir. People are curious about this. Um, just like a uh, clarification, and I looked it up as you were talking too, that um, the uh, Fast Track actually, or um, Elite Express actually did change its executive okay. into silver and four gold and okay. eight those. Okay, good. Monica, you were one, and forgive me for calling you out on this, but in the beginning, Monica just enrolled people, and she did a great job, and she still does a great job enrolling people, but it took a little time for her to realize, it, am I right, that as you build, yeah. it, it really, the rising star bonus structuring that way makes a difference for you. Yes. Um, yeah, it's, it was like, I, I don't know, it just didn't click in my head like where to place people and how to place them and so I could be executive easily at this point um, but I'm not because I didn't put people where they needed to be I, I talked there was somebody in Shannon's um, 1090 and she posted and she said I don't understand how to get legs I've signed up 34 people and I was like what's your phone number let me talk to you and I was like you have a relationship with your upline silver and she's like yeah but we keep missing each other on the phone I'm like does she live near you and she was like yes and I was like you need to tell her that she needs to sit down with you look at your organization and see how to structure in the future but basically your leg are groups of people everybody that goes to church should conceivably be one leg everyone that goes to work, are the people in your neighborhood, are your family members in one state, are your out-of-state family members, your online people, because you only need about 12 to 20 people in your first line to get those seven, and that's all you need to go diamond. You should not have more than 25 people ever for any reason in your front line, and if you do, you need training, you need help so that you can either know how to structure or know how to help those people build. Yeah. And, and just, just to make clear what I'm understanding from you, Tashina, is when you say seven people, so you're talking about seven qualifying leadership legs. So these yes. are people that are placing their $100 um, PV every single month, whether it's on ER or quick order, but it should be ER. They should be on uh, ER, exactly. They should be on, they should be on ER and they should be placing a $100 PV order each month. That qualifies as a qualifying leg. So let's yeah. say that you have signed up 34 people and only seven are ordering 100 PV on ER each month, then those are your seven qualifying legs. I just wanted to clear that up. Yeah, and on the, to qualify for the Rising Star bonus, they do have to be on ER. It has to be 100 PV on ER. I don't know if I said that. Um, Karen, I don't know if she's still on the call. Last month we were talking about structuring her team and she had, we're like, yes, we set it up perfectly. She's going to get the first three shares of the Rising Star bonus. And then it hit us that that one person at the top of the leg, their order was not on ER. And it was like, oh, such a blow to have that like $100 stripped right back from her. I was like, oh, but it's, I mean, we just, we need to first stress the importance of it, obviously, and then, you know, pay attention as we go through it to make sure they, they're on there so we can get that. Okay. Yeah, well, they'll definitely be on ER this time, and it'll all come to, it'll all work out this month. That's what I'm, that's what I'm hoping for. I hope you don't hold it against me that I used you as the example there. Oh, not at all. Not at all. No, it actually was a great learning opportunity for me. You know, like I, you gotta, when you're going to be placing these people and you're looking for the rising star bonus, just make sure that they, um, your front line is on a hundred, um, PV ER order. Yeah. All right. So really quickly, we have eight minutes left on the call. Do we really want quickly want to talk about rank qualifications? Um, that's the last slide in here. So this right. money that people have access to, how do they get it? How do they build? Exactly. So a, a distributor to get paid on your fast start and your right uh, and your uh, starter kit bonuses and retail earnings, those three things, you can get paid those three ways only with a 50 PV order. It doesn't have to be on, on ER. There's no extraneous rules about it. Just that simple. So you, let's say you enrolled somebody, a friend of yours with a starter kit this month, you don't place every month. 
make sure to do it this month because you'll at least get paid back for the products you order. You could basically get $50 of free products. I think that's always a great deal. Um, but if you place a hundred um, PV order, that's when you can start qualifying for ranks. So if you want to hit star and you're not sure why you're not there, it's because your order's only been a 50 PV ER order probably. So make sure you um, place your 100 PV order, make sure that you're helping your friends and family as they enroll to get on ER so that you can hit star every single month at 500 OGB. Does anybody have a question about these terms? I, sometimes they throw people off because, because they're abbreviated, but OGB is overall group volume, the volume of your entire, everybody that's on your team, including yourself, basically. Senior star is 2,000 OGB. It's just taking, you've made one star, then you're helping four other people become star for you to hit senior star. Um, and then executive is where you start actually um, coming out with the qualifying legs. You're actually putting people in, if you're doing the rising star bonus, then you've hit executive um, once you've got those six legs out there or seven legs out there, um, but you have two legs at two th or the 1,000 OGB, um, and then four at 4,000. And really, to go from executive to silver is just adding more volume in from there. And I, you know, this one I like because I, I feel like it's not as overwhelming as explaining all the higher up ranks. I think everybody on this call, um, except for Tashina and I are, are working on these ranks right now. And well, and anybody that's already hit executive, I suppose you're working on silver. I'll, I'll do a special call just for you folks if you really want. Mm -hmm. <laughs> by, the, by the time you've hit executive, you know exactly what it takes to hit silver. I'm banking on that. Yep. Okay. Um, so five minutes left. Then any questions that uh, anything that was unclear or things that you ladies could think of that you want to add? I just had a quick question. Um, yeah. As far as when you're going to enroll people and sponsor people, and you were talking about um, if you have someone on your team that orders a lot of PV, um, then of course you want to say if they're your third down, you want to put them at your top top of your line so how do you go about like at what point do you decide when you need to move them around in your team and how do you go about doing that well you only get 30 days from when they sign on to, to move them so um, I'm not sure who you're talking about I'm gonna assume this is your mother for example you've enrolled your mom she places a 300 PV order every month I would make sure she stays on my front line she I think having your family and your closest friends as close to you as possible on the levels is a really good idea as well because it's easiest to work one-on-one -on -one with your your level ones level twos even um but they shouldn't go any lower than that okay yeah if if they're already on your third level and it's been longer than the the 30 days they just have to stay there and it's okay you you, you know they might eventually you they might not qualify you for the rising star bonus but they're certainly a good leg and they help build out that good leg Thank you. Did that answer your question? Yeah, and my only other question was, I hit star last month. Mm -hmm. Do I remain star or do I have to do something to maintain star? Like, how does that work? Well, Young Living recently changed it. You have to maintain a rank for three months now for it to be like your official rank. Um, at least I, I believe that that's the case with all the ranks, even, yeah. Okay, so I know they did that for, um, they made that change recently. So that would be the case with STAR too. So if you maintain STAR for three months, anytime somebody, you know, they pull it up at Young Living, they'll see that you're a STAR. But I would bet by the end of three months, you've probably already progressed to Senior STAR or something like that. And so that's, that's where you'd be at. Okay. But every month you essentially have to re-qualify for it by making sure you get 500 OGB. Go ahead, Tashina. Okay. Yeah, that's what I was just gonna. I was just gonna add. So every month, everyone goes to zero. So that's why the ER is so important. A diamond doesn't matter where you are. The day one, we're all at zero. 
and you can go into your virtual office and you can see what your volume is based on your ER. And then your job is to always have your 100 ER PV. You have to have that to qualify for any rank and see what your ER gets you to and continue to build from there. But everyone, every month from Royal Crown Diamond on the way down, we're at zero the next month and we're redoing it. But the majority of the time, because you have a stable business and you have at least 35 to 50% on ER, you already have the majority of that qualification done as soon as the month starts because it's there in ER. Mm -hmm. There you go. Okay, so two minutes left. Um, and, and we could talk all day about the comp plan. I mean, one of the things I will say is you don't have to know everything, but feel free if you'd like to contact Leah uh, personally to ask questions. Is that okay, Leah? Always, okay. yes. Um, because I do want to hold, I do want to guard our time. We have two minutes left. Are there any events that anyone would like to promote um, that are within the next coming week? Totally, Tashina. Oily Tools is awesome. So on um, Tuesday, I have an online class. It is from the virtual office. So it's a new presentation that we've never seen before, but it's basically an intro to young living class. So, um, you know, we it's open to the entire public. So always in the class stating, please get back with the person that invited you. So if you have new members, feel free to join put them in there and then if you want to use it to build then free feel free to do that as well and you know as the game plan says we need to personally invite at least 50 people for it to be successful which means sending them a text message or a direct personalized message don't just invite them to the class they won't see it because they got invited to a paparazzi class and they got invited to a makeup class and they're going to ignore the 17 invitations that they got all right good point i invited 50 people to Tashina's Spanish class last week, and I think we got, what, two or three of my people showed up, so. <laughs> That's awesome. Success. Very good. Um, and then I, I just want to take a moment to give commendation to everybody who showed up Tuesday for Tuesday's team event. Um, we had a blast. We tried out different recipes with oils. Um, one person got started that day who was a brand new person who just got off of work and decided to come and uh, we just had a really, really nice time. It was a fun environment. So uh, that was kind of fun because that was like tag teaming, like yeah. between Nikki and Karen. And I mean, only in Young Living would that ever happen, where people that are not even on like cross line work together to get her enrolled. So if you are in the Metro Detroit area, uh, not this coming Tuesday, but the following Tuesday, I believe the twenty first, we'll be doing our next team event, and that information is listed in the Google Doc. So just started thinking about inviting to that or if you are able to make that event start penciling that in your calendar as well um is there anything else that i missed and i will get a graphic out for that tashina no i just wanted to uh, reiterate where if you guys have any creative ideas for those classes too like we were kicking around um family game night because i bought those two games that i haven't used yet for some information um definitely have haven't used it the do-it-yourself kits yet so just if you have any creative ideas it really is open to everyone in the metro detroit area we want it to be interactive and fun for people who are learning we have lots of blues on this team so bring us ideas as well we would really like to outgrow our space so uh keep that in mind that sounds like a, a good plan um well Keep in mind, we do have the group uh, Google Docs, so all the events will also be listed in there and posted in the group. Uh, I want to thank everybody for being on the call this evening and for those who made the effort to be on live. We really enjoy the interaction. And thank you so much, Leah, for sharing about the comp plan uh, and you ladies' wonderful questions. Hopefully, we're able to answer the majority. But I'm going to set everybody free this evening. Uh, go out there and pursue your business. And we will see everybody on next week's call at the same time. So then everyone have a good night and stay oily. And I got to come up with a tagline for that. <laughs> Oil up. There you go. Everybody, good night. Good night. All right. Thanks a lot, guys. <laughs>